What is up YouTube? Griffin here again with another vlog and this time I am going to talk about reasons why I joined the army and of course I have two special guests. Boats and hoes. Would you like to Boats introduce yourself? Homes. Mathlin. My name is Mickey Peterson. <laughs> Mickey Peterson. Yeah, right. Mickey, yes, so, um, Mickey. so in my previous video I was talking about uh, transitioning from like basic training to AIT. And um, what a transition it is. What a transvestite it is. Yes, I, I feel the same way. I mean, from your personal point of view, like, how do you feel about coming from, uh, like, uh, in an environment where you're trained to, like, from a drill sergeant to platoon sergeant, like, in training-wise? Like, how do you feel about moving forward? I feel like I'm in heaven. It's a culture shock. You get <laughs> ticked off because people cut in line, people don't care, people. they lose their integrity, mm -hmm. and if you are trying to do the right thing and keep what you got in basic, you still it's really uh, frustrating. It's hard to keep it. That was because one thing that I noticed mm -hmm. right off the bat. Whatever you do right, you still get fucked over for it, no matter what. Yeah. Like, I, I was talking to somebody about wanting to get something from the vending machine, and now we got 7 o'clock formation in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck me, right? So, no. <laughs> um, aside from that, basic training, you know how it goes. Wake up at 4, 0400, go uh -huh. to PT, uh, then go off to training. Uh, you wake but, up at 0400. I have this on. I wake up at 0430. Yeah, different. I came from Fort Jackson. Fort Jackson? Fort Jackson. Another big thing about AIT is now that we can spend our money on whatever we want, we turn into total nerds and play Magic the Gathering all the time. Some of us are more obsessed than others. I don't know who you're talking about. Man, I, I that was my first time playing it. Um, <clears throat> but aside from that, this is our week seven. So mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier, I should know from a previous video that, I, that we were done with hardware and now we're dealing with software. So as far as your opinion goes, how do you feel about like the classes that we're taking right now and how does it help you with your, um, you know, current career <laughs> endeavors? Yeah. Well, I feel frustrated because my sergeant's only rule is don't piss him off. It's a common theme with this guy. Lots of frustration. Right? Hands us a book. <laughs> Learn how to fucking do it yourself. He's a ball of fury. You ain't 25, bravo. No, you do. So, I, uh, never touched a computer in my life. I learned a lot so far. Uh... I'm digging it. It's tough sometimes because uh, we're we're not super involved in the classroom, at, and we a lot of people fall asleep, and it's, it, you can make you want to pull your hair out sometimes. But you just gotta you just gotta wake yourself up and keep on trucking. That's why they shave our heads so we can't it pull them out. It is really hard. Yeah, it is really hard. That's why you have to have short hair in the military so you mm -hmm. can't pull it out. Yep, they notice our stress levels. That's the only reason. Don't let them try <laughs> anything else. So technically, twenty five Bravos. It's a 19-week, um, you know, process of turning into um, an actual 25 Bravo. So they're cramming in 90, 19 weeks of school. That is equivalent to a four-year degree. <laughs> My so brain's broken. Everybody's brain is broken. literally broken. You so, thought seeing your brain on drugs was bad. It's the egg in the frying pan. You should see your <laughs> brain. You should see your brain on IET class in the army. Oh man, that's worse. Yeah. IET. IET. AI. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm doing really good. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> IET is is a location here in Fort Gordon where no. you can actually <laughs> hang out and. Um, do whatever you want. You can play games, uh, you play pool. You just messing up the and <laughs> honestly, there is different cultures here, like what they mentioned earlier. There's people, there's people that plays in a corner with magics and, and magic there's gathering. And there's and people breads. that are just into dancing and shit. You got your little cliques here. Yep. Just it's, like anywhere it's else. Just it's like just college, like high school. They said it's school, college. They, they said it's not, but it is. Yeah. They're fucking liars. <laughs> Kill them all. So. Did, did your drill sergeants ever like lie to you of how IET is, I, I, AIT is going to be? Mine told me they're not going to talk to me about it because they don't know if I'm graduating. I didn't talk. <laughs> no, and I like... just stood around with an angry face all the time. 
and it worked out to my benefit because I got a promotion. It did. So it did work, but I didn't nobody get really talked to me because I just looked angry. That's the way to pass <laughs> basic training. Yeah, I just look constipated. I get by. Angry faces translate to seriousness in basic training. So if you want to scoot by easy and fool your drill sergeants into thinking you're totally squared away, it just look like you're constantly constipated. constipated. Yep. That's how our, that's how your brain should work. Holding that dump in. And if you ask you, do you need to take a shit? Just say yes. If they ask you if you, <laughs> if they ask you if you bleed when you poop, say yes. Because apparently drill sergeants don't poop, so they don't. No. They don't yeah, have they buttholes. Don't. They're like, they're like <laughs> Kim Jong Un. They just drink lots of energy drinks. No. Yep. And um. And yeah, and hate and hate you. So um, <laughs> going off topic, um, I'm a I'm a active soldier. Are you an active? Uh, sexually. I knew no, that yeah. was coming. <laughs> <laughs> He's active. I'm active. There are certain uh, words that just cue this guy here. It's just, you know, you know it's coming. Sometimes <laughs> you just l need to learn how to not mind a person that is just... has a different mindset than you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are your future plans after, um, AIT? Fuck Besides a graduating oh. from here and get out and getting the shit getting your shit out of here i want to get late again i also want to eat asian food real asian food when i get to south korea are, are you getting stationed in south korea yep you are lucky uh i haven't gotten my um sponsorship yet because my clearance is not out and that is one of the main reasons that i don't know my station it's one of the main reasons people are stuck in the here. air you nope. can get stuck here with that bullshit. And apparently you can even stay in AIT for however long you need to stay until you get your clearance and shit like that. So that, yeah. how, what, what places would you be pumped about and what places would you be like totally bummed about? I am looking forward to Florida. Why yeah, that's Florida? That's a strange one. I, I, that's because I've been, I've, I've stayed in Florida for like four years. So I grew I up like, in Florida for 20 one, like, 21 years. So you got roots, you got connections. I I, I know people. Mathlin has painful memories. Probably is. That's why I know most. <laughs> that's why I know. That's why I know most drug dealers there. So I can just I can. Hit. Well, you're probably in a bad neighborhood, but I'm staying in a good neighborhood where there's like less crime. So. Where there's a lot probably. of white people. I mean, a lot of people. With More money. like old people. A lot of old white. Pe I mean, old people with money. Old yeah. white people. That's me. <laughs> yep. It's a neighborhood full of me's. Mm. So, um... Ah, my back! <laughs> what were you guys doing before uh, joining the army? Like, what was your jobs before? Oh, I'm a reservist, and I'm old. I'm 27. It's pretty late in life to start the military thing. But, uh, I got in trouble when I was younger when I wanted to do it. So I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I said I wanted to do it, I'm gonna do it. So I came back and I did it anyway. And, uh, but I, I'm, I'm a reservist, so I got, I got a good civilian career at home. I'm a building automation specialist. That's basically oh, that's somebody that plays around with um, mechanical systems and buildings and computers at the same time. And uh, so when I go back home, I'm going back to that job and I'll be doing the one week in a month thing with uh, computers. So it's helping me out with my civilian career. And um, to go back to what you said earlier, what am I looking forward to do doing when I get home is, is riding my motorcycle and, oh, yeah. and drinking beer. Drinking beer. Because that's what I love to do, and that's what I miss while I'm here, and I can't do it. What was so the we, question? We just, we just had a, a four-day weekend, and then this is our last night to actually enjoy it. Uh, Friday night, we actually, the following day, we had an imaginary room inspection. Oh, yeah. So. That was fun. We woke up at 0600 and got gathered up in a basketball court for like two and a half hours. Wow. The first sergeant, the battalion commander. Well, let's not sweep this under the rug. <clears throat> Women were bringing fucking moonshine. Two sergeants. Women? Yeah. Women. That's what they said. The females from over there. Mm. I'm not sure if we're not so, we're not supposed to like mention females, but bad girls. we can't mention females. Bad girls, bad girls. <laughs> this is gonna go to YouTube, do? bro. <laughs> what you gonna do when we find your booze? Look, you women are more. Deceitful sometimes. Oh, we this this podcast is going off the tracks. Mm. Off we're tracks. about to get thumbs down. 
We're about to get vilified. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let everybody know that it's I'm this saying, little guy right here. You're more fucking sneaky than we are. Whoa. You guys are. We can't sneak shit. We get caught because males are lazy. I, I, I literally find fucking drumsticks from chickens on our fucking floor. We're not allowed to have food around here. Another thing about a lot of guys is as soon as they eat, they automatically fall asleep in place. Yep. Yeah. That happens to me. There's a plastic crate for the Chinese food left in the day room. It's still there. I haven't fucking touched it. Is that why it. they close it down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So apparently, uh, there's another room that they open, and apparently this guy has a fucking box full of MREs. Ooh, I miss MREs. <laughs> They're fun. All I heard was the, the first sergeant yelling, like, holy shit, there is MRE boxes in here. We could order those okay. offline. Okay, this is what happened. They're like, the first time I saw an MRE in my life, they're like, do not use the heaters. We are inside. You can set off the sprinklers. And everybody. They're like, open it. And then someone's like, is that smoke? And then we look at this fucking kid. He's like using the heater all nonchalant like. I do it anyway. Joe Sarah's like, get the fuck out of here with that. You want all of us to get wet? <laughs> Oh, uh, we had that before. We had that. I never used the heater. I just ate it like a Neanderthal. Just, yeah. Just yeah. Everything. They, I, when I they it say it's like a 15-minute meal, expect to have it at 10. Not even. Sometimes it's 5. You throw your shit away once you eat your main course because contraband is not allowed to be eaten until you are at white face or blue face. I'm not gonna what? Lie. Really? For us. You for Jackson. Oh, I was allowed to eat the candy as soon as I saw it. Hell no. <laughs> I, I always go, go for you the pepper wait, jack. Wait, 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 wait. We weren't allowed to eat our contraband, not until white face and blue face. Yeah. That, when you say, con is it contraband as soon as you like, open the MRE and it's in there? Or yeah. is it once you bring it back to the room? Like contraband in the MRE. It what it did was on red face, they took the, like this box. And they're <laughs> like, put your contraband in there because you're not allowed. Different. Not even coffee. No, we could eat anything. That's hilarious. As yeah. long as you could shove it down your throat, you can yeah. eat it. If you can eat it in like five minutes, you, no, you're good. Cool. Do not eat your fucking snacks first. It does take up a lot of time, and you will miss your main course. You know what's really fun, though? Trying to eat 15 lifesavers at one time. Oh. Yeah, that's my, fun. If you try to multitask, this is what I do. If I have Skittles and nut mix, I'm, I eat them together. They actually taste really fucking good together. I don't know what it is. I might start that addiction up. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you, you, you get creative and basic. You have to get creative. You get, you're creative in AIT, period. You know all the crazy stuff you have to do to the defect food to make it taste better? Your toilet paper is creative, too, because it's made by the blind people. It actually really is. If you read the paper on it, it says made by the, bon the blind people. Skillcraft. Shout out to Skillcraft. They make a lot of our stuff. Go blind people. Go blind Mad people. Props. We Wait. support you. Matt Wait. Murdock. <laughs> Way for not using Daniel. your disability as a crutch. You can go out and earn a living too. Making our toilet that. paper. Yeah. So well, since that's since a, we're uh, we're off topic already, anyways. That's um, a way to look at it. What <laughs> what are your memorable moments in basic training? Ah, uh, the backsplash in the porter potty. Oh, that was the worst. I sat on a <laughs> toilet. I sat on a toilet that was covered in a thick layer of tiger ball. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Broken chair. Uh, some jerk went upstairs and uh, pulled a prank. God damn it. Pulled a prank and uh, shit. Needless to say, my butt was on fire for a while. There we go. All that right. was my fault. That was some uh, minor technical difficulties. I because felt. That blast of light that just poured in was, that was a Jesus. representation of how horrible my butt felt when it was on <laughs> <a> tire. Fire. <laughs> So, uh, I had this one story of uh, one private from, from a fourth platoon. He apparently earned hemorrhoid. Earned it? He earned it because he pushed too hard. Oh, uh, I have. So, like, the, said... remainder, the remainder of basic training, he was wearing a cushion. To Where? Like, sit everywhere. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was him. We sat on a lot of benches. Wow. <laughs> my ass got itchy. I don't like when my ass gets itchy when I sit too long. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, if you wear a bathing suit for way too long, yeah, and your, your butt, butt cheeks just like, ah! It just gets a rash. Yeah. Like, there's also this, like, moments where you're, like, the drill sergeants tell you to sit down, but, it, like, um, when it gets to the point where, like, you get tired of sitting and you stand up. Yeah. I do a, I do a, a, a how do you say, squat, so I can't get yelled at. They won't even allow us to do that. They, it's oh, either no, it crisscross applesauce or... Stand the fuck up. It's a lot of...